we're going to talk to Luke before we wrap everything up. Hi, Luke. What would you like to discuss today? Sorry, we don't have a significant amount of time, but I know you've been waiting. So thank yeah. you for staying on. It seems that I <laughs> like you with your shows on, on the CD. I keep uh, calling at the last time. So um, I called, I was started listening to the show today and someone was talking about miracles. Mm -hmm. And you said something on the line, I don't think that miracles exist. Right, and or happened, I, I, yeah. I was wondering what is missing? That's a, that's a question for you to say, okay, now there are miracles. Uh, I, what, what would be missing for me to say now there are miracles? I suppose there would have to be something that happened that I was exposed to that had absolutely no conceivable explanation for that could be in any way grounded in material reality when held under scrutiny. Does it have to be you? Well, you, if you're, you're asking me, so that would be, yeah. I mean, I, I, I am not in charge of, nor can I control the standard of evidence that other people apply to themselves when they attribute things as a miracle. I, I mean, um, it's, it's more, my question is uh, more, if it were to happen to your close friend, for example, would it still be valuable? Or uh, if it happened to my close friend and they said, hey, a miracle happened to me, I would be respectful about the fact that that is in fact an experience they had and that, that they attributed it as a miracle. Uh, but what I what that wouldn't be is compelling to me I, somebody else can't transfer their personal experience into my mind in order for me to share that experience with them. Um, so whatever whatever kind of way they felt about it is especially if they're relaying it to me secondhand, that's like that's like a degree of evidence removed. So it's going to be even less compelling to me than if I had been present for it. Okay, yeah, my, the question is more about um, what is missing when if okay, I understand what what is missing for you to uh, recognize a miracle, it would have to happen to you. Uh, that's uh, the answer I understood. But w if a miracle yeah. were to happen to someone else, are there uh -huh. things that are missing right now so that you would agree that those are indeed miracles? I would have to, like, in order for me to assess the situation and, and, and just say something is a miracle, I would have to have enough information to go on, right? So somebody coming up to me saying, a purple unicorn manifested from thin air and did my hair and then fed me a sandwich and then disappeared, that's a miracle. Like, that's amazing. Like them just recounting that to me isn't giving me enough information to ascertain that that was in fact an actual event that took place that was a miracle, right? So you're asking me if I can, if I can take secondhand information and go, okay, well that's good enough. And the answer is no, never yeah, really. I'm yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. And nor it should it shouldn't really be good enough for anybody. I don't think like hearing secondhand information and only having secondhand information and absolutely nothing else. Like if you hear secondhand information and have absolutely nothing else to go on aside from them recounting an experience to yeah. you, yeah. and you go, well, definitely, of course, I'm going to incorporate that into everything I do on a day to day basis because I have no reason to not believe that. That's just you know poor reasoning skills, I think. So. Um, I'm thinking of, um, if you, uh, you don't, you might not know, I'm a Catholic right now. So we have things that we call miracles in our yeah. uh, religion. Yep. And we have one of those that are, uh, we call it transubstantiation. Have you heard about it? Transubstantiation is when the cracker turns into Jesus, when you eat it. Yeah. Or right? flesh into yeah. flesh. And the funny thing is, no, if you eat enough crackers, you're going to get every part. <laughs> If you eat enough crackers, you're eventually going to get every part. Just think about that next time you're eating a cracker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, which part is this cracker? Uh, Uh-oh. <laughs> no, no, I'm talking about um, a special event that happened from time to time and uh, where the cracker changed into flesh. And this flesh is like... You don't really believe that the cracker actually changes to human Jesus flesh, though, right? Like, you don't think you're chewing on a cracker and then all of a sudden it becomes... Jesus man meat in your mouth. That's a bad cracker, dude. That's yeah, what that is. No, no, I'm not talking okay. about what happened every Sunday I'm at, or every day. At okay. I'm talking about something special, a miracle. Where? What's the miracle, though? 
that it turned to flesh, flesh energy, Shannon. Flesh. Yeah. Well, here, here's but you just I'll... told me that it didn't. So now I'm confused. Yeah, yeah. I, I I, if you had 10 video cameras up and yeah. showed a priest handing a wafer to somebody, not even handing it to them, they put it on their tongue directly. So the person receiving it doesn't even touch it other than with their mouth. They put it in their mouth wait. directly. Yeah. They close their mouth. They open yeah. it two wait. seconds later and they pull out a chunk of meat. That's still yeah. not a miracle. That's just you being tricked by magic that someone did a stunt and you don't know how it happened. Yeah. So um, what happened was um, the, usually the transubstantiation happens when the uh, the miracle of transubstantiation, the the one I'm talking about with with you too, is what well, is what happened when the cracker turns into flesh in the hands of the priest. Okay. No need for followers and anyone. It's just right there in, in front of. All of everyone there, the thing changed just shape. The shape of the cracker is not spherical anymore, and it's a it's it's a flesh. A, 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 how do you call that? A piece of flesh. So yeah. you actually believe? No, I'm I'm, I'm so confused. So like, a, I just want to make sure that I'm understanding this correctly because it sounds to me like you're saying that an actual miracle happened because a priest had a cracker in their hand. Let's pretend that my like glasses cleaning cloth is a cracker. So a priest had a cracker in his hand and it turned into human flesh like that actually happened is what you're saying yes yeah the, the funny thing then, is I, <laughs> I, I think that's actually contrary to uh catholic and lutheran teachings uh because it never changes to flesh in the priest hand it only changes to flesh inside of the person who consumes it so uh, they're not Why is cannibalism a miracle? Yeah, I'm so, so confused. I asked people, I said, <laughs> if you think this actually happens, are you still participating? And if you don't think that it actually happens, are you still participating? It, it's a no-win scenario. But but from my understanding of the teachings uh, in the Bible, that it doesn't happen in the priest's hand. So that's not even Catholic, so, by the way. Thank you, Phil. So the question is more about miracles. So events that are one-time events, you know, like something that it's not about what mm -hmm. happens every time you go to church and, and commune. It's about these spe specific events and what yeah. is missing to this specific event for you. To, to me, that to me it, it feels like you're getting to the place a previous caller was in is that it's a miracle only if you can't explain it. it only if you're ignorant. If, if you don't know how what appeared to happen in front of your face happened, you have ignorance on how it happened. That's when miracles happen. That's not a good place for a miracle to be. Um, and so uh, you could learn about magicians and, and trickery and sleight of hand and all kinds of stuff that could trick you. Uh, and hopefully if you go to a table and there's a guy with three cups and a red ball, and at some point you get to put 20 Canadian dollars or about $4 us on the table to make a bet. Uh, and you don't, you don't pick the right cup, even though you followed the cup, that's not a miracle. You just don't know how it happened. The question is, what is missing, Phil? I, I, I don't know that there's anything missing. I, I think you saw something that was a trick and you don't have more information. I guess you don't have more information. You don't know how it actually happened. So having no knowledge or lack of knowledge and then that makes it a, a miracle, I think is a really sad statement about Christianity yeah. as a whole, that the only time things are miracles is when they're not understood. And it's clearly was it was enough to compel you, right? Like obviously you think it's a miracle. I'm not gonna I have no contention with what you think about it. But I don't have any information like I, I, aside from you saying, I firmly believe this happened. This is something I was present for. Like uh, how if, be me for a second in this moment, like put on your Shannon hat. I don't have a hat. Put on your Shannon hair and think to yourself, okay, if Shan if if I was Shannon right now, and somebody called me that I'd never met in my life and said that a priest held up a cracker in front of me and it heard in, and it turned into human flesh. So you're silly for not believing in miracles. Like, no. what, what should I do in that circumstance? Should I go, well, oh my God, obviously everything about what I believe more, just changed. You should ask for more, more, more proof or more things to understand you can't give me proof though because i wasn't there when this thing uh, 
a, I don't even think that it happened. Like Phil, I think is probably right. And that like you, or you had some sort of misperception or there was like a group experience where you all convinced each other to reconstruct him. Like there's a million mundane explanations for it, but there is no proof that you can give me because I wasn't there. Like if I put controls in place so that we could test to see if that did happen, uh, like, and, and attempted to have it happen again, the excuse would then be, well, it needs to be a specific set of circumstances. It only happened one like, time. Like, God chooses yeah, his I'm moments, sure. or it was just a yeah. one-time yeah. thing. Like, none of that. Like, it's just not, I, I understand that you believe it, and I don't want to dispel the fact that you've had this experience and that it's meaningful to you, but there is no way that you can translate that meaning to me not having ever had that experience. You're just and, saying and, okay. not only should you take my word for it, but you should my word should be good enough uh, for you to believe something that you think might is and ridiculous. Luke, Luke, if you have the yeah, ability to I'm, talk I'm to not, your deity, I'm not what I would say it happened. I'm asking what would convince you that it really happened. What would convince me that it really happened? I well, you with. Yeah, yeah. What well, here, here's you here's what I, I'm asking you to do, Luke. If 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 you have a way to talk to your deity, uh, ask your deity what it would take, because they're going to know the answer. And then you call back next time Shannon's on, and I want you to give her the two words that will be necessary to convince her that it happened. No. No, you cannot ask God okay. this question, Phil. You made the mistake yeah, when you say that. But you can ask him to turn a cracker into yeah. human flesh, well, though. The, like, the Bible silly. says that if you ask for God to move a mountain, can he will I, move it. Can you I can't say, ask him to move a cracker? No, it's uh, allegorical. Yeah. You, you're taking this to literally, Phil. You said yeah, something along the line in the show today. So if, uh, is it not supposed to be I literal, think. though? You're asking me what, you're asking me if, like, what would make me believe in a miracle and you're talking about literal miracles but like so we are talking about all right literal experiences Again, i don't know we do have to let you go ignorance <laughs> or lack of information that's when you have a miracle We're way over time yeah, I know. We are, oh, Luke, time. call back, call back again when it's not the end of the show. Call back again when I'm so sorry. We like we're 15 minutes over time, but this was like it was a cool conversation. Please call back, and I'm so sorry. I don't mean like, to, but we're like way over time, and we got to go on the Discord. Go, go oh, over to Discord. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. You're have good. Too much time. I just want to you. understand how your your critical mind works, and uh, mm. there was no way for me to. To hear about it, I understand that um, it sounds weird when it comes from someone else. But but when someone says um, you weren't there, but how would you be convinced that this event happened? And you say, well, I will. Ha I would have need to, uh, to be there for me to be convinced. That's yeah. yeah. All right. Well, thanks. That would be that would be phase one for sure. All yeah. right. See you later, Luke. Bye. Not only would I have to be there for me to be convinced, and not just take it on secondhand information, like there would have to be. Like I said initially, I think my initial answer would probably stand then is that yeah, there would yeah. have to be absolutely no other conceivable or possible how mundane many, explanation that had any sort of grounding in physical reality for me to accept it. Have I or you or anyone seen a magician do something and go, I don't Tons. know how they did that. that okay, Miracles. just stop. That's I don't know how they did that. That That's the end yeah. of the discussion process. Now it goes to well, because I don't know how it's a miracle. Uh, what a pathetic all right, well, miracle. Why not end hunger? <laughs> right? I mean, oh my I'm gosh. Piece of flesh. I'm the all powerful God. Yeah. Stop making cannibalism crackers. Yeah. And stop some wars or something.